Guys, Game Geek here coming with part two of my Watch Dogs walkthrough. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I know the first part has only just uploaded, so um, hopefully it gets a good response. And this is the reason that I'm doing part two. And uh, just to inform you guys now, I um, I just came online one time, and one of my friends invited me to play, and um, I wanted to play online with them. And it said that I had to uh, let's just mute that. Said that I had to do this um, mission to be able to go online, which is a bit weird. But um, it literally all I had to do was uh, profile someone for a to find a crime going on, literally just like this, and then stop the crime. I know you've probably all seen it uh, on Watch Dogs. So that's basically all I had to do, just keeping you up to date. And as you can see now, across the bottom. I'm getting a phone call from Geordie Chin and then I had one before from someone else. So we'll just find ourselves a nice car and then we'll set off to the mission. I need a move up. 911, what is your emergency? We've got a situation out here. You better send some cops right away. No. Hello. No. No, no. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want, and... Let's set a waypoint to the campaign. And off we go. Okay, so we're arriving at the uh, at the mission now it's called Big Brother fuck you you don't even have a clue silly billy ok we'll park up here do a bit of the old parkour and here we go starting the mission I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday. Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid He's of He's got silence. his thing down, I'll put mine down. Recent panic attack, member of the Nation of Islam. This is the hardest mission I've ever done. Look at the complexity. Okay. Here it goes. How old are you today? About ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine, ten. Nine, <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, Stop. five, six, Stop. seven, Stop. eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Uh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Now, yeah. Uh, you wanna get a hug? Wow. You are big. 
Do I? What, what you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You brought him a real toy, huh? Hmm. Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm going to speak with your uncle. They're trying to put in quite yeah, a big be, be a backstory problem. here, I think. Just trying to get everything, like, emotional. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. The longest cutscene in a game I've ever seen. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not going to stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? Hey, title of the mission. They've added it in there. Add inside Nikki's home. Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was going to have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. All burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of other oh, things. Oh, there's an Easter egg in here, isn't there? Yeah. Family. That's an Easter egg. That's what I'm meant to be doing. I'm inside Nikki's home. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Oh, okay. Who was that? Does it matter to some stupid crank it happens? Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. That's meant to be their iPad, I think, in that world. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, okay. They fell out within like five minutes. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. Mm -hmm. There you are. What are we gonna do? Like kidnap him? Awesome. Damn it. He's on the move. Um. Um. Where's my car? I've been afraid of this. Threats to my family. Get out. Oh, I love yours. Cheers. Get out. <laughs> Not just escaping the car. Got in. Everyone calm down. Oh, got a bit of road rage already. It's over cool. I can never find that. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I overreacted. You just make me so crazy sometimes. Uh huh. Come on back, okay? I promise I won't freak out on you. Uh. Aiden? You're going after that creep, aren't you? Well... You're doing it right now. I can't believe you. It's not like that. Stop being a hero, Aiden. Let it go. Let what? 
Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me perfectly. You need to stop right now. Yeah, hello? You still there? Can't hear you. Okay, gotta go. Oh! I can't hack it out now. So we have a deal? Shit, yeah, I can't believe you're paying me that much just to make a crank call. Nikki Pierce, right? Wait, how did I even... What did I even need to do? That's the point. I think I just need to light the jacket lights and the blue sky. Someone paid this asshole to harass Nikki. Who would pay for something like that? Oh. Did you get anywhere with DeadSec? Any of those CTOS hacks? Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. Well, I know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the loop district. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. We can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Loom's building a new CTOS. Ah, uh, so we're unlocking. That's a try to attack. I think we're unlocking the, the uh, we CTOS access to the loop. Bridge jump. YOLO. Mm. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. That was like the easiest mission ever. Oh, okay. Loom hires private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. Ah, right, let's just see what's going on. Ready. Should I do this mission yet? I think we'll end this episode here with 13 mini pairs long obviously with the cut out bits and we'll just maybe uh oh we can't hack anyone here just maybe finish it on a crime or something make it finish it in an awesome way let's just get to the other side beep beep coming through <laughs> Since implementing the first CTOS station and one year of citywide right, operations, we're inside where we can uh, planning for CTOS. some people. Bloom insisted its innovative network would save Chicago. Then that way, point up. It's over eight hundred dollars per household. Well, after a full year of operation, the numbers are in. Over the past twelve months, Chicago. Hey, did you miss me, Parker Square? Aha, perfect. Crime detected. We'll finish the episode on this crime if I can do it right. I might screw it up. Oh. I'll have your money. Thank you very much. Sir. Everyone crash. Right, okay. Coming up close. So I'll just park here. I'll pack it. This is the place. This guy is no. going back. He'll be nearby. Pretty big camera somewhere. Potential victim, right. Hey, where you been, man? You need to rap. Well, here I am, cuz. Hey, dude. Cut the shit. I know you a fucking snitch. Hey, easy. I don't know what you're talking about. You got a problem? Man, you better back the fuck off. I got this, guys. Right, I want to get him in a funny way. Uh, let's wait to find something cool. I'll just chase him for a bit. Oh my god, he's done me. Blah, oh, blah, blah. Run down an alley or something, Penny. Mm. No. Not spending the police, Penny. I'll take your money as well. I feel like that. We'll just quickly get our money from the ATM. Why did I just get that card? There was no need to do that. So I hope you enjoyed episode 2. It's been quite short compared to the other one. Then again, it's still been about 15 minutes yet. Uh, if I take the bits out, I suppose it'll be about 
13, 14 minutes, something like that. But I hope you've enjoyed still. Um, part 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to probably about 30 probably on this will all be on the way. I'm really enjoying Watch Dogs and I hope you guys are enjoying watching me. I've been gaming you guys, aka Aiden Pierce. And I'm out, guys.